top 15 keto vegetables and three honorary vegetables coming right up. There is a lot of confusion surrounding keto and some of the proponents, they say that, oh, just eat what, whatever you want, just don't worry about it. As long as you cut the carbs, you can have whatever you want. And some of the opponents, they claim that, oh, why would you ever want to eat something like keto where you can't even have vegetables? All they eat is butter and, and bacon. So both of those views are actually wrong. And with so much misinformation, some of you may even be surprised that you're allowed to eat vegetables on keto. So yes, you can eat vegetables on keto. Just make sure that they are the low carb varieties. So to that end, I want to talk about my favorite vegetables. So we're going to talk about 15 true vegetables and we're going to talk about three honorary vegetables. Those are things that people think of as vegetables that, but that are actually fruit and that still fit the bill. So this is data that I have taken from nutritiondata.com. If there's any mistakes in here, I apologize for that. I've done my best to transcribe correctly. And this is my personal preference. So you may have other favorites and if you do please give me your favorite your top list and the more that we share and collaborate the more we can get healthy so first of all keto is not a diet it's not something that someone sat down and said i'm going to call my diet the keto diet and here's what you can eat that's not how it works ketosis is a physiological state that is a result of cutting carbs so low that your body has to start burning fat, which is a goal for a lot of people. So yes, it reduces body weight, but more importantly, it reverses insulin resistance, which is at the root of 95% or a causative contributing factor of 95% of all degenerative disease. So, here are my top favorite vegetables, and this is my personal preference. Uh, it's based on flavor, what I like. It's based on the number of uses. How versatile is it? How many different things can you do with it? Uh, ease of use. Is it something you can just pick up and eat, or does it take a lot of preparation? And of course, it has to be very low carb. And how much of it can you use? Because if something's super healthy, but you can only eat a tiny amount, then it's not going to have a huge impact. It's not going to be a lot of volume that you can, can benefit from. So those are the factors that I included. And here is my favorite list. So we're going to start from the bottom. We're going to start with number 18. So number 18 on my list is olives and it is one of those honorary vegetables because it's actually a fruit and it's that thing you know that they make olive oil from so we know all know that extra virgin olive oil is one of the best fats that you can have on a ketogenic diet but yes you can actually eat the olives straight so some people like them some don't I really like them but it's not something that you sit down and eat a half a pound of. You, you have a few and it's a great flavor and it's good to know that they're healthy for you as well. They have 3.1 grams of net carbs and 8 milligrams of potassium. And this is all these values are going to be per 100 grams. Uh, that's about three and a half ounces or just under a quarter pound. So that is also a way of expressing in percentage. The, so these numbers are basically going to be percent of net carbs. Swiss chard. It is super healthy. It only has 2.1 grams of carbs and 379 milligrams of potassium. So it's one of those super, super healthy things. I put it kind of low on my list because I just don't know what to do with it. I like it. I steam it once in a while, but I don't find myself keeping it around that often and it doesn't stay fresh all that long. You have to steam it and so forth. So super healthy. If you like it, go for it. Number 16 favorite is celery. 
super healthy, very, very low carbs, 1.4 grams, 260 milligrams of potassium. I like it, I just can't eat tons of it. Okay, you can use it in salads, you can use it in a Waldorf salad, you can make little sticks and, and dip in things, in, in hummus and other healthy dips. Uh, I just don't eat that much of it. So there are other things that I find I can, I can eat more of, but it's a great thing to keep around. And of course, all of these things are things that you want to mix up. You want to use as many different vegetables as possible throughout the day because variety is a good thing. Number 15, cabbage. I like cabbage. You can steam it, you can do coleslaw, you can do various different stir salads with it. Great vegetable. 3.3 grams of carbs, 170 milligrams of potassium. It is also great. You can make sauerkraut if you want to ferment it. Then it's one of those things that keep forever and also help repopulate the good bacteria in your gut. So fantastic vegetable. Number 14, broccoli, one of those cruciferous greens that the liver loves. It has four grams of carbs and 316 milligrams of potassium. It is something that a lot of people like to eat raw. I don't. That's one of the reasons it's relatively low on the list. I do like it steamed or oven baked, so I do eat it quite a bit. Uh, the people who like it raw, they can also find that it's very easy and you can use it for, for dips as well. Super healthy. Number 13, parsley. I love parsley. It has only 3 grams of carbs and a whopping 554 milligrams of potassium. It's one of those things you're not going to sit down and eat a pound of parsley in a sitting, but I do love to make tabbouleh and there's a recipe on my channel where you can see how to do a keto-friendly version of that. Uh, love it, eat it as much as you can. Number 12, asparagus. Uh, this is one of my favorite side dishes. It goes with a lot of different things. Uh, steak, one of my favorites. Uh, fish, uh, eggs. There's a lot of different things that you can use asparagus as a side dish. I just pan fry it a little bit with some ghee uh, or maybe some coconut oil, something that's heat stable. Use some salt, pepper and some lemon or maybe vinegar and it comes out super, super delicious. Number 11, cucumber. Very, very simple, very versatile. I love to slice it up on salads. It's one of those always in my salad vegetables. And of course you can cut it up in little sticks and use it for dip with various forms of, of hummus or other dips. Number 10, tomato. I love tomato and I put it in all sorts of different things. I use it fresh in salads, but I also use it slightly cooked in things like omelets. And of course, you can use all forms of different meat stews and all kinds of different dishes and spaghetti sauce. So tomato shows up everywhere in my household and it only has 2.7 grams of carbs, 237 milligrams of potassium. Tomato needs no further introduction, except of course it's one of those honorary vegetables because it's really a fruit. Number nine, arugula. And it is one of those things I eat with salad. Sometimes I do the whole salad, just arugula. I love that slightly peppery, little bit nutty flavor. It only has 2.1 grams of carbs, 369 milligrams of potassium. And you could substitute for virtually any of the salad greens, okay? So this is one of the things that you can use for fresh salads over and over. Number eight, romaine lettuce, another salad green. You eat it raw. You can actually put these uh, romaine and arugula in a blender and make a smoothie as well. Sometimes I do a fruit smoothie or even a chocolate smoothie uh, where you can put some salad greens in there. Works great. It has 1.2 grams of carbs, 247 milligrams of potassium, and it's one of the, the staples in my fridge. Number seven favorite vegetable is mushrooms, and it goes in a lot in my household. Uh, you could make 
various forms of lasagna with it, of course, without the dairy and the wheat. You can do a lasagna with tomatoes and eggplant and onion and things like that. You can also slice it up and cook it lightly, and I put mine in omelets. Uh, or you can use it fresh in salads if you like that as well. So uh, mushrooms, wide, wide range of uses. We, we use it a lot. Number six, bell pepper. And this number I got is for green bell pepper. It has 2.9 grams of carbs, 175 milligrams of potassium. The red, yellow, and orange bell peppers are going to have higher values so you may want to restrict those a little bit if you're on a really, really tight uh, carb schedule. Bell pepper goes in everything. You can stir fry it, you can use it fresh, you can use it for dips, it goes in omelets, it's a great snack. Uh, there's just no end to the ways that you can use bell pepper. Uh, always keep some around. Number five, French green beans. This is a surprise to a lot of people, and I have to explain this over and over, that there's a difference between beans and beans, because most people know they can't have black beans and kidney beans and pinto beans and lentils on a keto diet because they're way high in starch and protein. But green beans are different because the bean portion is almost non-existent in comparison to the pod, and the pod is a green, watery vegetable so you could have as much green beans as you desire. Uh, it only has 1.6 grams of net carbs and 209 milligrams of potassium. I love, love this vegetable. I always keep some around. It's super easy to steam. And after you steam it, you pour out the water, you put the beans back in there, you throw in a tablespoon of butter and a little bit of salt, maybe even a drop of lemon, and they're just super, super delicious. Uh, my two favorite side dishes in terms of vegetables are green beans and asparagus. A very, very regular item on the menu. Number four, eggplant. Very, very versatile. Uh, I sometimes cut it up like little french fried potatoes. I put butter and olive oil on it. Then you throw some spaghetti sauce on it. And now you have kind of a, like a pasta dish. You can make uh, lasagna type dishes with it. You can do eggplant parmesan. Lots and lots of different uses. Uh, 2.9 grams of carbs, 230 milligrams of potassium. This is one of the ones that can sort of become a meal in itself. It's very, very substantial. Number three, spinach. Another wonderful food. You can eat it fresh. You can saute it. You can turn it into soup. There's just so many different ways of using it. It has only 1.4 grams of carbs and 558 milligrams of potassium. So it's super, super rich in minerals. And this is one that if you eat it fresh like a salad, you can't eat a whole lot. But if you saute it, maybe add uh, a little butter and sour cream at the end to make them creamed. Uh, or if you turn it into a soup, you could conceivably eat uh, 150, 200 grams of, of spinach and you would get over a gram of potassium just from that. So get as much spinach as you can. Find different ways that you like to use it. Um, I love it. Number two favorite keto vegetable is cauliflower. It is so versatile. It goes in so many things. It has three grams of carbs and 303 milligrams of potassium. You can use it for so many things. I don't like it raw, like some people like to dip it. I don't much care for that. But you could use for riced cauliflower. I do something called stir-fried, not rice, where I use riced cauliflower, uh, diced mushrooms, and diced onion, a little bit of onion, that's, that's higher in carbs, that's why it's not on, on this list, but I certainly use onion. Then you add some butter, you add a little bit of lemon, salt and pepper, maybe a dash of, of soy sauce or Bragg's aminos, and you have a wonderful, wonderful side dish. I call it stir-fried, not rice, and it goes with just about everything where you would normally have had rice. Uh, you can steam it as well. Just put a little butter and salt on it. Uh, so many, so many different uses. Some people even do pizza crust from it. 
And because it is so versatile and you can eat quite a bit, you could probably eat a pound of cauliflower in a day and that would give you over a gram of potassium just from that. Number one favorite vegetable, you all knew that was going to be on the list, it is avocado. And it tops the list even though it's not strictly a vegetable. It is a fruit, but who cares? So I eat probably a couple of avocados per day. I use it in almost everything. You can slice it, put it on omelets. You can eat it fresh with a spoon, just scoop it out. I put it in my smoothies, whether it's a chocolate smoothie or a fruit smoothie or a berry smoothie. I put some avocado in there. Uh, there's so many different ways you can use it. It is so delicious. I sometimes use, do a little bit of mashed potato and then I use a little bit of potato, a little bit of cauliflower and some avocado. You mix it up with salt, you steam it, mix it up with salt, butter and a little sour cream and you have a wonderful, incredible, creamy potato, mashed potato substitute with very, very little potato in it. Uh, if you're not super strict, you can put a little potato in there. If you're super strict, just do it with cauliflower and avocado. Incredible, incredible food. And it's one of those that it has two grams of carbs and 507 milligrams of potassium. So if you eat two normal to large avocados a day, there's about 150 grams a piece. Times two is 300, so you get one and a half grams of potassium. That's like half of what you need in a day just from two avocados. And on top of that, it's just super, super delicious. Figure out what you like. Let me know what your favorite list is. Maybe we can share and, and uh, make even more progress on this. And realize that you can eat vegetables on a keto diet. Even though it is a carbohydrate, it matters how much carbohydrate, plus most of these things have a lot of fiber in them which will further slow down the carb uptake. So it's almost like you really don't even have to count carbs that come from leafy greens and from extremely low carb uh, vegetables because there's so much fiber that they buffer that sugar uptake. So I, I didn't say you don't have to count it, I said you almost don't have to count it. So eat tons and tons of vegetables. If you haven't seen this channel before and you enjoy knowing how to get healthy, please subscribe and then share this video and all of our videos with as many people as you can because the mission here is to get people healthy. The more we can get the word out, the more we can help. Thanks for watching.